Introduction Shikha and her parents are at the airport to board a plane to Mumbai. Her parents have promised her a ferry ride to the elephant caves during their stay at Mumbai. Their return journey is booked on a train. Shikha is thrilled. She gets to use three modes of transport in a single trip to Mumbai. In this lesson, we will learn about the different modes of transport. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define transport List the various modes of transport Define land transport Define water transport And define air transport Transport The movement of goods, animals and people from one place to another is known as transportation or simply transport. Transport removes the barrier of distance and promotes trade between places. Means of transport We use trucks, tractors, goods trains, ships and cargo planes to carry goods and buses, trains, cars and aeroplanes to carry passengers from one place to another. Different carriers of goods, animals and people from one place to another are known as the means of transport. Modes of transport Goods, animals and people can be transported by road, rail, water or air. Different mediums used for transportation are known as the modes of transport. Modes of transport can be broadly divided into three categories. Land transport, water transport and air transport. Land transport The movement of goods and passengers on land is known as land transport. Land transport can be divided into road transport and rail transport. Roadways Roads connect one place to another on the surface of land. The ways or paths on which vehicles are driven are called the roadways. Railways Transportation of goods and passengers on rail lines through trains is known as rail transport. The ways or paths on which trains move are called the railways. Water transport The movement of goods and passengers on water is called water transport. Goods and passengers are carried from one place to another, both within and outside the country, by means of boats and ships. Air transport The movement of goods and passengers from one place to another by means of aeroplanes and helicopters is called air transport. Air transport is very useful in transporting goods and passengers during natural calamities like earthquakes and floods. It is fastest mode of transport. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The movement of goods, animals and people from one place to another is known as transport. Different carriers of goods, animals and people from one place to another are known as the means of transport. Different mediums of transportation are known as modes of transport. Land, water and air are the three modes of transport. <laughs>